Well, I'm just sitting down at the side of the lake. You can probably see it behind me. Make myself some lunch. Been hiking for quite a while. It's a warm day. And uh, I'm making lunch under a separate video. It'll be another Wild Zora meal review. So watch for that. But what I thought I'd do while I'm getting ready is share something with you that was sent to me by a friend of mine. And without any expectation, just a pure gift that he sent to me just as a thank you for all the YouTube videos that I make. And his name is Rob Young. And Rob lives in Moncton, New Brunswick. He is a fellow bushcrafter. In fact, I met him through Nova Scotia Bushcraft a few years ago. And Rob and his wife Janet own a company that they started, just a small side company, known as the Crafted Woodsman. And Rob and Janet are producing a good number of things that are made from canvas and leather and similar products in a very traditional sense. Now, there, there is some modern interpretation, of course, that goes with that. But Rob has, I've seen some, just some amazing items that Rob has produced. So I, I got a, an email from Rob that said, watch the mail. He was sending me something and he didn't tell me what it was and when it arrived I was really just shocked and then he sent me another email explaining why each item was chosen for me so let me just go through what he has so number one and I don't have it on my belt only because I wanted to show you but it's a little collection pouch these are made of canvas and they have a snap on it well first off let's show the belt loop on the back there is a belt loop it is standard width Actually, it's wider than it looks, I just realized. It's probably because of the way I have uh, this all rolled up. But that'll go on just about any belt that anybody's likely to wear. Snap, the pouch drops open. It's a good size pouch. I'm going to estimate about 9 by 11. And uh, like I said, all canvas. Very well constructed. Nice dome snap on it. The seams are all sewn and finished off with a zigzag. So it's certainly not something that's going to fall apart. And Rob said he knows I like to forage wild edibles. And he thought, what a perfect thing to have on my belt than a nice little drop pouch like this. And I agree, Rob, this, this is perfect. You know, I had made one for myself some years ago out of a barbecue cover and a couple pieces of nylon. Well, barbecue cover is not the most dur durable material, so it didn't last too long. So I was, in fact, looking to either make something for myself or buy something. And, uh, you know, something handmade by a craftsperson is worth more than whatever you could pay for one that's factory made. And uh, I don't know what these are selling for, what Rob sells them for, but I'm sure he'll respond. Well, I know he'll respond to any questions you send him. And if I haven't mentioned it again, I'll put his information where you can get a hold of Rob in the show notes or video description below. Uh, but you can look up the Crafted Woodsman on Facebook, and I'm sure you'll find Rob. So that's one item he sent me, Rob. That's going to go to good use. In fact, today I was looking around for birch, twi or not, birch uh, buds on the end of birch trees because uh, I have got a, I want to make a video on that coming up. And it's a little early yet. The birch tips, that's the, the, what I'm looking for. A little early yet, but uh, I've been finding some other things, so that'll go to good use. Rob knows I love coffee. And what's really cool is Rob loves coffee. I mean, he, he I don't know if, it may, he may even be more of a, an obsessive fanatic with coffee than I am. He's got multiple, multiple ways of making coffee. And every so often he'll post uh, uh, something on Nova Scotia Bushcraft about how he's been making coffee. But uh, since I love coffee, a coffee pouch. So another little canvas item. It came with a nice little spoon. Let me open it up. Now, it is canvas, so I'm hesitant to drop my coffee in here loose. Uh, maybe the beans, whole beans, I would drop in here. But ground coffee, I don't know that I would drop in. So what Rob dropped, put in the pouch with this was a small plastic bag, which, of course... You can choose to use or not use for your ground coffee. Like I said, it would work well with coffee beans, the whole beans. But what I'm putting in it today is the canister that I've been carrying my Rampage coffee in. Uh, and it fits it down inside nicely. Whether I'll continue to use this or not, I'm not sure. But it does go in nicely. And it's just a nice place all wrapped up. Oh, drop the spoon. And keep the spoon. And what I did... Uh, is measured out how many heaping spoonfuls it would take to make a cup of coffee. So then I just, uh, I marked that on the back of the spoon just so I knew in the future how many spoonfuls it would take. Close up of one of Rob's little leather logos. I think that's showing up there, yeah. And the third item, 
He knows I like to eat lunch, and I'm going to be using this today for lunch. It's a utensil roll. This is very, quite nice, actually. Very nice. So I'll open this up and show you how it works. So it's like a tool roll, of course, with a, but for utensils, a little flap to go over the top. And Rob did include the utensils in his, a knife, knife, fork, and spoon, the GSI uh, high-density plastic ones. I mean, they're very functional and they're very light. And he includes some hand wipes, so I keep my fingers from getting too dirty. I don't know if, if that's saying something, but you know, one of the things that Rob asked me in response to this roll is, uh, what did I think about the utensils inside? Should he continue to put the GSI knife, fork, and spoon in? Certainly the fork and the spoon are useful, but what about a knife? I mean, everybody carries a knife with them in the woods. And, uh, you know, should he replace the knife with a set of uh, chopsticks? Uh, and chopsticks can be extremely useful and of course they're fairly easy to make in the woods. I say fairly easy because I know how to use chopsticks. I use them quite a bit, but unless they're straight, they get a little awkward to make. So uh, should he put chopsticks in? Well, my personal feeling is this. I like this plastic knife for use in anything that has a, an anodized coating or Teflon coating on it, or even inside of metal because to be quite honest, uh, my knives are sharp and they'll scratch Teflon like crazy. So uh, I've often wondered, you know, uh, if I had to use it, would I, you know, would I continue to use uh, my bushcraft knife in the bowl? Um, maybe, maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't, but I quite like the knife. But I think what I'll do is I'll turn this question around to you. What would you carry inside this roll as far as utensils for eating with? Would you go with knife, fork and spoon, a spork, two other, th uh, chopsticks, anything else that you would use. Personally, I'm not a spork fan. Like to light my fire, spork and spoon on either end, I'm okay with. But uh, the spoon that has tines on it, uh, that, that's, that's neither, I don't know what kind of an animal that is. It's nothing I like to use anyway. So let me roll this back up. The last thing I want to show you, Rob sent a couple of his patches. So this is Rob's symbol, the Crafted Woodsman. So I'll find something to attach that to. So once again, if you're looking for something traditional and you don't want to pay a huge amount of money for it and you're not in a position where you can make it yourself, but you would like to have it, then reach out to Rob and support a small craftsman who can do excellent work. And I'm sure if, it's not, if he doesn't have something that's exactly to your liking, he you listen to your ideas and I'm sure he'll be able to make you something special. All right, thanks Rob. And again, check out Rob's site.